Oh, man, I've been holding out on you on the Devious Parvita, but you wait no longer because today Devious Parvita is live. And the best part about it is we got two vehicles, not one, a Lincoln and a C10. Who's ready for this? And don't forget, at the end of the video, we're giving away a giveaway, so stay tuned. Hey, welcome back. Today, we're gonna introduce you to our 1960 Chevy long bed truck. That's right, we're building a full chassis for it, which is what you see here. We're just getting started, let's show you the truck, come on. Well, here it is, 1960 Chevy pickup. That's right, this is the Apache model with a long bed. Kind of near and dear to my heart because this was my first truck. Well, not actually this truck, but one like it. Um, as a kid, when I was 14, my mom and dad bought me one and I uh, abused the hell out of it. This is a torsion bar model. We're going to actually put a whole new chassis, rear end, disc brakes, LS motor. This thing is going to be fucking bad. So we're going to take this truck, that frame, and this truck, follow me, and this is our donor truck. This is a 2000, I think it's three, uh, Chevy Silverado. Got the LS with the 5.3 in it. We're gonna actually use the rear end, the spindles, the motor, the tranny, the computer, the wiring harness, anything we can salvage out of this thing into that truck to make it run and drive, lay flat on the ground, and look cool as hell. So stay tuned because as we bring this to you, we're gonna show you step by step how we do it. I had these frame rails bent through a good buddy of mine but they were designed for a short bed and I had a stack of them. So we're actually having to stretch it because we're building a long bed truck. So what we did is add six inches. He gave me a little extra on here. So uh, we're adding another six inches. What we do is these fish plates that we slide in. They work like that. So we're gonna get six inches, but it gives us a quarter inch plate on each side before and after the weld. That way it strengthens it up. We'll probably end up double frame rail on this anyway, just because it's long bed and they flex a lot. Uh, a little flex is good, a lot of flex is bad, because after you're done with your truck, you don't want to air it up and it do this, you know? So right now we're doing the extension plates, put the back half on, we got the easy way to go on the back, and then we'll do a little bit of measuring and squaring up, and uh, we'll have a chassis. Remember that badass Lincoln that we showed you at the wreck? Ooh wee, was it hit hard. Well, now we're gonna show you how we get it fixed. Well, we got it back from the uh, frame shop. Uh, my boy Corey over there did a hell of a job. I'm really thankful for him. However, now we went ahead and pulled the fender off, the inner fender. Now we gotta take care of this problem here. Uh, he had to do a lot of heating and pulling and bending. Uh, we never planned on keeping this piece because it was pretty mangled. So what I did is I went and got a donor piece and we'll cut that all off of the factory mounts and get it all put back into this one, get the two swapped out. Uh, at that point, we'll be ready to change the header out, put the fender on. I'm looking maybe a week, and this thing should be sanded and ready to go in the paint booth and get painted. Let's get back to the dirty peach. Yeah! I say unbolt the cab, lift the cab off it, undo the steering, and the, the wiring harness goes in this side, and the AC lines and heater lines. Lift the cab off of it roll this out, then we can get to everything easy and just lift it out.
Well, this is the favorite part of building trucks for me, is tearing them down and uh, stripping all the junk off a of donor. I don't know. Cab's coming off. This one we're using the motor, tranny, rear end, and spindles, I believe. So this is our donor motor. It's a uh, running, driving 5.3 before we took it apart. Ran when parked. <laughs> uh, anyway, we're gonna put this on a diet now, change the motor mounts, and then we're gonna set it in the frame. So if all goes well, we should have motor and tranny mounted in the frame today. Well, here we are. We got the motor set in the chassis. We got the trans cross number mocked up and tacked in. Tomorrow we'll finish the motor mounts and set the cab on. Meanwhile, Papa Devious is bringing the truck into the hoist. So in the morning, we're ready to rock and roll. <laughs> Look at the tires flat. Well, it's only flat on the bottom. <laughs> The Dirty Peach is ready for dismantle, and now let's get back to the Lincoln. So now we're getting super close. Right now, we're actually putting the Rage Extreme Body Filler on and getting this sucker straight as narrow because it is black, so it has to look good, good, good. A Little bit of body work, get a good prime on it. We'll block it, prime it again, and then we'll start going down the side and the back where it all got little chips and nicks hit and, uh, and get it all blended in. It's time for the removal of the body off the chassis. Woo! There we have it today. We got the cab mounted, the engine mounted, and uh, the front core support mounted. So we're getting close. Tomorrow we'll put the bed on, build the bed mounts, and uh, start the suspension. Things bad. The dirty peach. Well, that's it for the episode. That's right. Stay tuned for episode two of both these builds. They are coming out sweet. The dirty peach is starting to look like a truck again and the Lincoln will be in paint next episode for sure. So, now it brings down to business. Don't forget, we're gonna give away a hat and a shirt for the first person that can guess the date Devious started. Don't forget the year, and I'm gonna give you a little bit of a hint. Everybody pulls jokes on this day. So it's your turn. Don't forget to smash the like button, hit subscribe, and ring the bell. That way you see every episode, every video comes to you live, Devious Porvita, have a good weekend, stay out of jail.